Hi everyone, and welcome back to another Wilds of Eldraine draft. This time we're actually doing the Alchemy version of it that just released yesterday. I had a video for you yesterday, but uh, I didn't check my recording and it was all messed up. So I don't get to share the, uh, the piggy deck that I drafted yesterday. Um, coming into this pack, our Alchemy card is this Loch Laurent, um, which seems bad because... Uh, it's effectively sorcery speed. Just boo. Um, I think we're going to lead with Imidane's Recruiter. The hair is fine. It doesn't give Trample. Um, but, I mean, Imidane's Recruiter is just a stellar magic card. So, we'll start there. <clears throat> and move on in. Into a Song of Totentons, noting that the Alchemy card is gone. <clears throat> There's also the Knight of Sweets Revenge, which is quite good. Um, cut in Grand Ball Guest. There's a very fun dragon guy in the Alchemy set that I have really liked. Uh, we take Belligerent over Food Fight, Brave the Wilds, and Feed the Cauldron. I mean, obviously, Food Fight's not the pick, but I think like Cauldron. Brave the Wilds are good. We could also you know, go down the Hatching Plans route, but I have not had that much success in that zone. Wow, that's pretty late Torch the Tower. Happy to pick that up. Continue our red card pickings. Here's the Alchemy card. So it's a blue bounce that either makes your thing cheaper or their thing cost more. <clears throat> Let's see. This has got a stopgap, a two drop, a two drop. I think I'm more interested in the ball guest than stopgap, although I think stopgap's slightly stronger. You know, Byra, Porridge, Rat Out, Witch Stalker. Hmm, not extremely appetizing on any of these. I guess we've seen the most blue, so blue could be the most open, or we could just take the two and veil witch and try to be Boros. Or we take the bowl of porridge as technically a removal. And I guess we'll take the uncommon. Yeah. Tremors, which here's one of the alchemy cards. This is the worst of the little pigs, unfortunately. But um, whenever you conjure stuff, you get, or he gets bigger. So kind of a late feed the cauldron. I think I can take that here. Although going into black is probably going to be pretty difficult at this time. I think it's still the best card in the pack. All right, so there's another first duel. So still a lot of medium blue, Witch Stalker or Crescendo. It's either Witch Stalker or Griffin, I think I'll just take the Stalker. I don't know that we'll be Gruel just yet. Some white of medium value. There's also a Genealogist, so I guess I'll take that. <clears throat> Sweet Wield. Okay, I'll take that then. Be interested in possibly splashing the Feed the Cauldron off this Brave the Wilds. Um, I want to take the Scarecrow guy. Not that I intend to play it immediately, but you know, never know. I think it's going to be better than the Rat Out at this point. Hey, we got a Goose Mother. So that's super helpful. Thanks, dogs. Sorry.
Okay, go lay down. That was quite enough. Here's this, this is the best pig, second pig, best pig, but we're obviously taking the goose mother here. Um, be on the lookout for, wait, oh, do you, now you want up? Okay, we did, no, no, no. Oh, she's gonna go bark again. Uh, dogs, can't live with them, can't live without them. We're not taking ley line. People play this, it always feels really bad when they get to turn one it, but it just can't be that good. Um, really not a lot in red here. We could just take another two drop. We could take the bounce in blue. I don't think Dream Spoilers is all that good. Maybe we just take the Evolving Wilds. Yeah, it's probably safe. All right, what do we have? A lot of good red. Oh, this is new. Victory of the Pyro Hammer. It deals four damage to each creature in Planeswalker and it gains damage, remo isn't removed, okay. And then deals one damage, and then it deals one damage. That seems pretty strong. <clears throat> so what that ends up doing is it, anything that's on the board, wow, it's everybody's creatures? It still seems really good. Anything that's on the board when that thing is dealt damage, the damage sticks around. So it lets one ones plink in on injured stuff. Yeah, that's, and it's also just a board wipe. I think that seems really strong. Okay, we've got a tough cookie over Vanguard or Acolyte or Grabby Giant. I think tough cookie is just good enough here. So I think we are going to cut. Let's do that. We might still run the Feed the Cauldron. Let's see. We have a Frolicking Familiar, which might be good enough just for the red. And if we're dealing one damage... That goes with Pyro Hammer, and we'd be able to play the familiar some amount of the time. Is that better than Witch or Werefox? I'm willing to bet that it is. Uh, Ranger, Witch's Mark, Ginger Brute, Slinger. So this helps us trigger. No, it doesn't. It does not help us trigger Celebration. But it does draw us cards. Yeah, I'll just take the creature. It's kind of been my default. These things are still not conjuring. It's just a green 2-2 two, two for 2, which doesn't seem good enough. Take the Embereth Veteran. Mana Flare, that's fun. But cut in is more fun. Take that. Here, do we want the second Brave the Wilds? Or do we want the second, eh, that one's probably better. Lower our curve here. I'm gonna take this for myself. Uh, Agatha. Also pretty good just because it's just an overrun effect. Uh, do I have all my spread and seas? I don't, give me those. Even though I can't play them. Thanks, Watsy. Okay, Spectre of Mortality, Monstrous Rage, grow old together. So if you have two, at least two creatures in your top 10, it draws you two cards, it draws you two non-lands, and then it bumps all your creatures at instant speed. That's probably good enough. That's probably good enough. Because, well, we're at how many creatures? 12. We fill that in just a little bit more. What happens to the rest of them? Oh, no, they just get seeked. There's also a Fawn, Rage, Red Cap Thief. So like any of those, or the Howling Gale Fang, if any of those wheel, I think we're happy. I will take the Grow Old together. There's a Frenzy. Steady Tortoise I've actually been extremely impressed by. Like, this this card is just... It's it's crazy. Like it's It's so much... It's so much, and I think that's between our cut in, we've got a torch, we've got a victory. Guy. Five is so much, but I'm gonna take the tortoise. We need creatures more than we need. Oh, okay. There. <laughs> Sometimes you just get it all. So I don't think we definitely cut the bowls of porridge. That's nothing for us. Um, curves at two and a half on the average. 
It could be we end up cutting like Knight of Sweets Revenge since we don't have that much top game right now. So here we could take, it's either Red Cap or Leaping Ambush. I think the Ambush has a better chance at coming around, so we'll take the guy that fixes us. And is a creature, and is gettable by Grow Old Together. That is a good card. Um, we can't play it. You just can't, yeah, you just can't play that either. Um, I don't know that we want really anything here. Guess I'll take that. Because <clears throat> right now we're at 16 lands and 14 creatures. So we could stand, let's see. We might drop the Feed the Cauldron. That's probably fine, given that we have the Witch Talker's Frenzy. It makes our mana just a little bit easier. So yeah, let's do that. But look at his little horn. It's a good turtle. It's a good little turtleist. We also, we do want to be able to get white for Imidanes. So that's going to be really important with stuff like Red Cap Thief. Although I don't really want another 3-drop. It's probably better than the Genealogist. Archon's bitter. Flick a coin makes a treasure. So we'll take that. Over the Daredevil. Or do we just want the Daredevil? Flick a coin draws a card. Yeah, that's fine. Edge wall pack, Merry Bards. We pack. 4-4 four, four Menace, if you get it off Grow Old together, is pretty good. Another Red Cap Thief, or this Dingle. Take him. And then a bunch of nothing that I have already. Okay. Take the Uncommon. Doink. Nice, filling in that set mastery. Does Agatha help us with anything else? She reduces the cost of tough cookies activations. So that's nice. That's actually not insignificant. Um, let's see here. I have changed this every time it has been defaulting my lands to the stupid Lord of the Rings ones. It's like, no, I have the Urza Saga ones. Please remember my preferences. And every time it's just like, nah, I'm not going to respect your wishes. I'm Arena. I'm going to do what I want. Because this is the third time I've done this today. Okay, let's do that. There we go. Now, let's have a look. So, we've got two Brave the Wilds. Oh, we do want... We have Red Cap Thief times two, Flick a Coin, and Scarecrow Guide that can all make white. Hmm. You go over here, you go over here. You're up here, you're down here. Do these guys ever trigger? They have Goose Mother and what? Tough Cookie can trigger them. A beginning of combat, no, so that won't trigger. 
They don't ever really trigger, do they? No. <clears throat> That's way too many islands. I almost think we want one island because real. We've got one, two, three, four blue sources. Is this a 16 land deck? This is best of one, so probably. So we need one more cut. Where are our creatures at? So maybe we do cut knight. Knight just seems really good though. Eh, let's do that. We are heavier red sense. But we want to be able to hit green so we can hit Brave the Wilds. So I think that's okay to leave like that. Um, yeah. Victory of the Pyrohammer could definitely hurt us more if we're not careful. We'll have to, we'll have to be very careful about how, uh, how that runs runs around. Okay, let's try this. Go, go, Goose Mother. Check for texts. Yep, that's what makes it uh, trigger. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, it seems really good. Because <clears throat> we're just going to start our tortoise growing. And that's like already a game plan. That's a good game plan, too. We do want to hit our third land so that we can get to the red cap thief. Ooh, what color do you choose, opponent? White. Look at that. And we do just play our ranger out here. Because Torch is cheap, especially, again, if we hit a land, we can red cap and hold up Torch. Or we can flick a coin and hold up Torch. You got a two drop. Boo! Ah, so maybe we should have untapped that, but yeah. I'll keep that, thank you. Go get him, tiger. So yeah, mistake not doing that on upkeep. But I don't know that, like, even in paper that I would have thought to do that. Grow old together seems pretty good because it's going to pump the edge wall pack and the thief. And it pulls creatures from the top 10. So I guess the way Seek works, right, that pull, it takes the top 10. It doesn't affect the... It doesn't affect the... Um, the order of the cards, I don't think so. Let's attack. If they want to trade, they can. This is an instant, so you can just do that. And sit tight. <clears throat> Likely not going to be able to kill anything with Flick a Coin, but. Oh, they have black now. A candy trail. 
Oh, so now they can gain life. So that's going to make them a, a griffin. Yeah. They got to do it right now. Makes them a 3-3 griffin. Let's go see what we can find. Nice. Okay. So, what we can do is attack and then flick the griffin if it blocks. Yeah, because we want to be able to play. And I mean, the attack on the tortoise is just, let's see if they block. And they might not. Yeah, that's fine. In which case, we play Red Cap Thief. And that blocks the pollen shield hair and keeps our mana going. So we can Goose Mother for X equal 2, and it would be a 5 5. I have yet to come across a Griffin Airy deck, so we'll see if an opponent has managed to do it. Okay. So that kills our Red Cap Thief. That's pretty bad. But we can, I guess we will do Goose Mother now. Bottom, bottom. So we take five more, go to 13. Blop. See, now this is where our uh, Pyro Hammer would be decent if we got there. Do you get a land? Nice. Did we really draw that instead of, huh? We could just also play this for as a 3-3. Three, three. But no, I think play it as a 5-5, five, five, keep the treasure. And we can discard the Scarecrow Guide. Discard, draw, no attacks. So we don't want to block the champion with it because they could have Archons, whatever. We can block the griffin and trade if they have that. We'll see what they do. They don't have enchanted creatures, so a fight spell just trades. Oh, they only actually have one green. Okay. This does seem like Archons. Yeah, they're figuring out what they, will, what they wanted to sack. Ah, that makes them another Griffin. Okay, yeah. That's pretty good. So we will need to find something to block that now. I had them on Archons. I didn't have them on the life. Oh, they're just going to... What does that get them back? Okay, that's something. Sure. Second red. Let's cast our boy here. Um, you're not doing much for us. There we go. Okay. So, we just have to not die this turn. Steady Tortoise should survive because it's got Ward 2. They would need Cooped Up.
Steady Tortoise won't even die to the uh, secondary effects of victory. Okay. Sure. It doesn't hit players, does it? Okay. Sure. Okay, so they're going to draw the candy trail, but they can't quite. That's fine. They want to do that. That's okay. So now let's do Do we give up the loot? I think it's okay to give up the loot. Bruce. Bop. Thank you. So yeah, they get to they get to gain the life, make a griffin. But if they don't block, we just kill them with flick a coin. Top top, so they like what they saw. Yep. Although we do have to be careful because the... Oh, okay. Well, that just dies. Yep. Oops, indeed. So, yeah, we want to do this. Poink. Draw a card. And... Send with the toidle, bop, and play something that doesn't die to victory. Okay, desperation scry. See, cooped up now does not do it. They died a witch stalker. No, cooped up could do it because if they drew it and had the land, but I don't know if they were still done <laughs> because the witch stalker still gets buffed. Nice. All right, game one. Moving on. Maybe. Look at these pigs. Nope. Rewards. Get out of my face. Look at these pigs. Everybody wants to enjoy these pigs. I wish I had them in my deck. The black, white one is really good. Just like that dog. Right, Nixie? She's sleeping. And despite my long sleeves, I am cold. I go first. Okay. Put myself on the otter. What are they going to do about it? A nothing. So that's going to attack as a 3-3 next turn, thanks to the thief. Depending on what they do, if we care. We might be able to just play the belligerent. Oh, interesting. So... I guess let's offer the trade. Okay, so they think they can get that back. Okay, makes food. Let's kill their tough cookie, make a young hero roll, bop, attack for four. Pop. So now they need a cut in of their own, sure. 
Play red cap. Red cap thief. I want to be careful how much more we play out if we're going to sit on the hammer. Okay. This actually blocks nicely for us. And we can sit on the hammer. I don't love having to play that out, but we need the treasure for Goose Mother. And the nice thing is a pump spell doesn't really save you from victory. Because the damage persists. So yeah, they get to eat one, pop, pop. And this kind of prevents them from playing any other creatures. And we can also use familiar to pick stuff off if we need to. Sure. Draw, draw. It's important that they tapped like that. Sure. So that gets in the treasure token. Again, we can pop that with the frolicking familiar. My turn. Wife text. So we want to do this for four. If we do this for four, it's a six six. It'll have one lingering damage on it. Yeah. And we'll pop their thief. the end of their turn. <laughs> Reading the card. So get, this does open us up. We could get frenzied. We could definitely get frenzied on our turn in response to the Pyro Hammer resolution. actually kind of a safe attack because it puts damage on the goose. I think it's pretty free. They're not going to do it though. Okay. Okay, it's fine. Play that. Um, yeah, I'd rather kill that than the red cap thief for sure. And again, the pump doesn't save it because it'll have lingering damage on it, like minus one, minus one counters. Sure. Sure. So we're going to shoot that guy. I think they need to, they have to wait and crack the they have to use the scavenger on my turn in response to the pyro hammer trigger. Or not in response to, but you know, you know what I meant. Yeah, so they're they're just gonna eat that now. Okay. So they can't, uh, I will sack a food, okay, pop, 
Now we can play this, play this, play this. So that trades with most of what they have, and we still have a goose. Our goose may, in fact, be loose. More red cap thieves. Suggests they're splashing for something, then. OK. This could be the, what, the, the plus 1, plus 0 oh to everything. No, they're just going to witch stalkers. Friends. So they did have it. Wow. OK. Um, so then we will block here. So they're going to eat that food for extra damage, maybe? Pop, pop? No, they're not. Seems pretty good. Oh, wrong color. A lot of lands. A lot of lands. Pop. Does that have haste? It does not. And there I can't do it. The goose shepherded us to victory. All right. Game three. All oh, right. Our wife text. I didn't check it. Oopers. She is currently dog sitting five dogs, which is three and a half dogs too many. So we've got our familiar, we've got a witch stalker, and we need one more mana. Seems good. Boop. Sorry. I'm paying attention, I promise. Doink, da doink, 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 doink. Doink, 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 doink. Doink, 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 doink. That's not good for us. Oh well. Still, still okay. We can use Flick a Coin to kind of regain some of that. Because now they are up cards on us. Shoot. Okay. Well, we block that at least. Hey, there we go. I guess we should play our belligerent now just to get on the board. And cuz like what are we, what are we doing? We're not flicking a coin at their face. We have a monster, not the monstrous swipe. What is could be a cut in. Is likely a cut in, isn't it? Reading the card. Reading the other card. No, nothing. Okay. Very interesting. So we can attack with belligerent here because that opens up witch stalker frenzy if they try to be cute. What you got? Is that monster thing? Oh. 
Hmm, okay. Do we are we okay with just trading here? Yeah, because we still block. Oh no, we still trade. Yeah, that's that's fine. Um let's just sit. <clears throat> You have more to do? What do you have to do? Okay. That stop did nothing. All right, so they are missing land as well. I'll play the catapults. See here, I am gonna shoot them because I want, yeah. Okay, so now we get to go If we do that, we can't cast Goose. But I think this is better. Lock Laurent. So next turn they can tap one of my guys. No, the next spell I do. So it takes, if it's Spell Stutter, we can pay for it. If it's Ice Out, that takes their treasure to do it. It is Ice Out, okay, that's fine. Sure. That also takes them off mana. Sorry, that one wasn't too bad. Stand corrected. So here we get to cut in, make a young hero. They get to shoot us. Boo hoo. Pop, pop. Pow. Depending on what they attack, well, no, they would need to attack with one other thing, which they don't have right now. Playing Balloonas isn't really going to get them where they want to go. Hi, dog. Is it just the next creature? That's when I cast it, so it does not affect any of the rats off the song. Got plenty of cards, but I guess they are crimped on mana. Yeah, their attacks are worthless. They would no reason to attack for them. Unless they have a frenzy of their own. Oh no, they used one already, right? No, that was the previous opponent. Can't keep it straight. Only I may look at your graveyard. Look at your hand, then back at the graveyard, then your hand, then to the battlefield. What do you see? Two rats. An heroic knight. And a weird bear dog thing. 
weird bear dog. Oh, I'm going to shoot that instead. Tough cookies, quite good. Um, just play this. Blank. All right, so frenzy is unlocked. Next turn, pow. How do we lose? We lose if there's a board wipe. So I don't, I don't really want to run the cookie out. If we can help it, sure. Yeah, that's that's not going to be good enough. So we can do this for four. And they are quite dead. Five. Oh no, they're at one. If they block, they're at one. Okay. Nope. Now they're. We could lose to our the victory, the the pyro hammer thing. Because it'll take us a turn to play Red Cap and then another turn to play Goose Mother. But that's like the card they need. Yeah. All right, well, didn't do the math properly, but got there anyway. Never. Jeez. <sighs> One more day. That's too many dogs. Too many dogs. It has also been very nice that we have been on the play every uh, every go. Uh, do we brave the wilds? Yeah. We have double red. We don't have any double green. Okay, yeah, so we take the mountain. Oh, the scarecrow guide kind of helps with that. Doink. They don't have a light blades. Let's play boundary. Keep it up. Nice, that's something. Pop, pop. There's still two turns off of the White Wrath. Okay, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, but it's not good enough. This is sorcery only? No, it is not. Pop, pop, pop. I love this card. This is a great, great card, too. Uh, like, fantastic adventure part. Pop, draw.
It's other creatures you control, activated abilities of creatures you control. So it costs five. Cool. So we can do this. Let's go get another forest. Froosh, pop, pop, pop. And then we have Goose Mother if they don't find anything. Nice. That uh, that pig was going to be a problem if it would have turned into its 5-5 uh, five, five flyer, or 4-4 four, four flyer, plus 1, plus 1. Um, I mean, we still had the Witch Stalkers, but, you know. I'm glad we got that, that second one. Um, our removal was good before it, but definitely helps to have that afterwards for sure. Right, dog? <clears throat> she just looks at me like, whatever. Whatever, Dad. You're not Mom. You're not going to feed us anything fun. But Mom doesn't feed them anything fun. That's Grandma's job. Oof. That feels like a mulligan. If we had a way to bargain the torch, I might be uh, convinced there. Put a mountain back. We just need a forest and this hand turns on. That's a shame. Yep, yep. Pop. Turn. Okay. We don't need to brave yet. And we can actually use brave, depending on what happens here, to uh, make a creature. All right, no celebration, please. Wow, okay. So it's non-combat damage? Yes, okay. Good. Okay, I'm just gonna play. I don't have that, so I can't. Um, we have plenty of mountains. Let's get our island. Do we just hit him? We go to 14. I'm just going to hit him. Okay, so they get to hit for... They get to hit for four? Okay. So it's fully grown now, um, but that lets us do this. Stop. And now we can use the belligerent of the ball if we need to. We really don't want them to trigger a second celebration on Ash. Then we're going to be in trouble. Okay. Did have, okay. I mean, we're easy double blocking there. They take our land, they take our land. They'll take our land. Yep. Pop. <laughs>
ribbon. Get back in that chair. Um, let's see. I think we do have to block here. Pop. Looking at my lands. And I just play their big guy. Okay. So we can't we can't go get a planes. Not that we could cast anything with it in, anyway. So let's just play our forest. Play Imidanes. No attack. Let's go get another land. Got our island already. Forest. Alright, so we can block and kill the giant. They've got more removal. Is it is what it is if they do. Okay. And like if they've got the monster roll thing then They've got it. Pop. No sense doing it now. Make them. Wow. Okay. Pop. It does block for a turn. Um, we do need that to get bigger. Okay. Representing Titanic growth. No blocks. Okay, they can't cast that yet. Now we need pretty much victory at the pyro hammer. Portal out of our lands. We need that or cut in or witch stalkers, whatever. Witch stalkers, whatever. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, that's game. Right, because let's see, it's four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Got it. Had we not attacked there, we could have blocked the whatever, but that's. Would have had a 3 3 instead of a 4 4. Still dead to the. Yeah, we we're still dead to the. Um, oh, the arc on that way. Oh, well. We were due for that, I suppose. On the play, we've got a torch. And we've got some three drops. A three drop that gets us our bomb. Okay. Yoink. Okay. So we can go get our island with that. Sure. It's actually a decent thing to torch because now it doesn't come back. Pop. 
please. Thank you. That becomes a 4-4. Four, four. Okay, I got a Rubers. And doing up the beanstalk. Okay. Kind of good killing the ruby. Could definitely have been right to play edge wall, but that kick act nah, that gets him off land. And we want them we want them to do crap like that so they don't kill our goose mother. That is super duper fine. So the downside of this is if we get Ariat's Whispered, we lose the Goose Mother, but then we still have four power on the board. Don't have the second black. Okay, so big boy. Pop. So you can do this for five. Now you need a second black for. I guess actually, feed the cauldron works on Goose Mother. So, poo if that happens. Can't be candy grappled. Oh, okay, well they want to race. They want to race. It's a race, it's a race. Okay. So we play this, we can still Crack two foods. So we're at 16. Okay. That creates a food. Okay. So we block like that anyway, just to... Goose mother. with it that was win five get out of here that was that was win four no no, no that was five all right so this is game seven i always read the the track as the glowing one is what's next if you win even though it has never been that way and there's nothing to suggest that that's what it is that's how my brain reads it. Stifle. I go first. Okay, this hand has a plan. Um, especially if we can find a blue source. Okay. Now we have another plan. I 
That's hideous. No offense to the artist, but I, that aesthetic does not work for me at all. Okay, no, I mean that's fine. We want we want to just draw lands here. Uh, we're definitely gonna attack, and if we can force them to put mana into Ginger Brute, that means they're playing off curve. Okay, that slows their clock down. Right. Okay. Builds our, um, this can build our turtle up some more. Again, makes them, forces them to have something. Ugh, okay. Would they hit? Oh, we don't know. One of them is a land. So now we definitely want to wait until they play that. So torch the tower. Fine. I'm just gonna play it. What are they gonna do? It's got ward. It's huge. Like there's no sacrifice effect. What are they gonna do? It's gigantic. And victory kills whatever they play. Play the dragon. Come on. It'll be funny. Yeah, all right. So we want to do, actually, let's see if they block. I can guarantee you your dragon's never attacking. I might actually just kill it with Frenzy. Because I don't, the dragon will get quite low, or our turtle will get pretty low uh, if if we hit victory. So it will get into burn range, like even a torch the tower range. So we need to build him up just a little bit more. Note they can't cast like if they hit green spells, they can't cast them without a forest. So, sure, sure, so that gives them green, okay, and now we are easily victorying here, we're just gonna go like this, Bruce. Pop. So again, they can burn it out now. But they're pretty low. <laughs> Emma Dane. Wow. Okay. So I can just do this. Doink. Doink. Poof, whatever. Smoosh. Pop. Those are the scientifically correct noises, by the way, for those actions. All right. Look at that. <sighs> One more. Let's try to get to seven. I 
I like the turtle. I I read the turtle. I I think he was in one of my like freebie alchemy boosters, and I was like, is that good? It's good. The turtle is good. It's still digital nonsense, but the turtle is good. It doesn't have to be. These are things we could keep track of in paper. It's not hard. Like, it literally could just be plus one plus one counters. Things in exile can have plus one plus one counters on them. Skullbriar. Okay, so Brave gets our island, and then that gets us grow old together. I like that. Opponent goes first, though. I don't like that. So we could definitely lose to a Boros, a fast Boros start here. I don't know why it's so hard to get my island. Please, thank you. Go ahead. Okay. It's not great. So, like I said, we could absolutely get destroyed by some pump spells here. Nope. So it's already attacking, so puffing it doesn't give you the double strike now. We've missed the opportunity, but we know they have something. Yeah, they should have done that pre-combat. So... Gonna do this. I think I have to play the blocker just to have something. Because now they can't attack with the daredevil. Oh, okay. Okay. Pop. Pop, pop. Okay, that gives us a blocker. And the longer we can wait on the Goose Mother, the better. Really don't want to see a cut in here. I think we do have to Goose Mother next turn as a five. And just hope they don't have a Witch Stalker's Frenzy. I think if they have cut in here, we're just kind of done. Party Crasher. Okay. So we take eight if we block Ash. Let's see, nine, 10, 11, 12 if they have another Archon's Glory. Oh, okay. So we still get to kill the Ash. That thing has Menace, not Haste. Oops. Fresh. Pop. Okay. We're dead to any pump spell in the in the set now. Oh. Okay. So yeah, we have we we are forced to block here. Man, we've drawn a lot of lands, haven't we? Holy goodness. We should not have done that. Wow, boned. Boned by the auto tapper and our own badness. Jeez. 
Yeah. Oh. Okay. You have another pump spell? Okay. That does, oh, it does not have trample, okay. So that has menace, treasure, wilds. So we can play both of them. Can we play both of them? So that costs five and we have six. So yeah, we can play this. Go get our second forest. Play you. Play you. Again, we lose because I'm not good at math. We're, we're shields down on the... Yeah. Yeah, we would have... See, no, he would have been a 4-4? Four, four? He would have been a... Four four. That they could pump. We block. We take six. We go to six. Yeah. So we were dead anyway. Okay. Yep. Those instances where flicker coin is just really poor, and like we got annihilated by this this idiot, like just utterly destroyed. Yep, wife text. All right, last game. One way or another, can we pull out seven wins? Game nine. Wing eight, oh, eight. Okay. Torch is how you fight those fast hands, and we've got Witch Stalker as well. Yeah, let's go get. I'm gonna get our island, and it's kind of awkward, but we can't. Please? I don't know why it's so difficult. The Iron Crag. So it's a mana rock that turns into a pretty good equipment. Um, the annoying thing is that the art doesn't change. Ashiok's Reaper. Okay. So let's do this. Okay, so now we have our we have decent blocks and we can get we can get white for recruiter. Other dog. Hello other dog. How do you does? So if this is Archons, whatever, we still get to keep a creature. This could be the wicked, like back for whatever's. But we can, we could torch it in response. So this is fine. Like, you need two of them? Like, that doesn't. Oh, it lives at one, I see. Okay. Interesting.
I'm gonna torch the bunicorn. Sacrifice the rabbit. And I will keep that on top. So they've got a Neva. I saw that look to your graveyard. What you got? Or it's the Dread Rider. Oh, the Revivalist. Okay, so they are not bargaining. Um, so their next creature ETBs with a Wicked roll. We're not blocking. It's really nice that we can pick that off with Frolicking Familiar, though. Let's see if they want to save it. Okay. Now they're out of cards. Okay, they don't have any instant speed tricks. Make my boy big! Roosh. Pop. And they're off it. Sometimes Imidane's is just enough. All right, well, with that, that's our first uh, on-video trophy in quite a while, if ever. So neat. Thanks for watching, everybody. That was uh, Wild Veldrain Alchemy Edition. Um, I do like, for once, the cards that are that have been added, especially the piggies. Um, so I don't know, we've got enough to do another one, so there might be another video coming up. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time. Bye-bye.